let's move on to a COVID-19 update and review the numbers for January 4th. Uh, our positive cases count went up 303, and that's down quite a bit from the last couple of weeks. The active cases are at 848, which is down 222 uh, from last week. The recovered cases have increased 532, and I stand at 10,541. Currently, there's 21 people hospitalized that went up three from last week, and the death toll has gone up two more from 92 to 94. Uh, total negative tests are up to 40,581. They were up 582 during the last week. The trajectory of the numbers since November was where it was down 40%, and we've been pretty consistent since then, but our activity level is still very high. We've come off the critically high, but we're still at very high. The efforts of so many at this time has reduced the strain on hospital admissions. We are only three days past New Year's, and in the coming weeks, we'll see how the year-end holidays affected our future test results. Please continue to wear a mask, wash and sanitize your hands, often and maintain social distance and try to avoid groups of people that are not in your family. These actions if followed will prevent the spike of coronavirus during the next few weeks. The Wisconsin Guard testing continues uh, to offer testing on both Wednesdays and Fridays at the Sheboygan County Aging and Disability Resource Center in Sheboygan Falls. If you're going to go in for a test, please sign up in advance at the state website, COVID Connect. WI.gov. Uh, the next step is uh, the vaccine distribution. A vaccine is a very small part of, uh, harm, harmless part of a pathogen like COVID-19, teaches your body how to respond before you come into, into contact with the real virus in real life. The vaccine will likely cause you to have a sore arm and potentially a fever. That's a normal part of getting vaccinated. It will take months to reach uh, community immunity, and we must continue to stay at home, wear a mask, and physically distance and practice good hygiene while this vaccination goes on. Uh, you will need two doses of the vaccine to have full protection. Ask your vaccinator when you, uh, when you need to come back for your second dose before you leave the vaccination clinic. The first groups uh, that are receiving vaccine are frontline healthcare workers who are providing direct care to COVID-19 patients and people living and working in long-term care facilities. The next group to receive the vaccine will be essential workers, then vulnerable populations, and then the general population. If you have health conditions that put you at a greater risk for COVID-19 complications, please contact your health care provider, and they will work with you to get scheduled for a vaccine when it's available for you.